Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, I'd like to show you the science behind a supplement that may be beneficial for fat loss, but not only that, how it might enact this benefit through a unique cellular mechanism. I'm excited to show you all the sciences. So with that, let's discuss the study design, the supplement, the results, and understand the physiology. Stay tuned. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. The study we'll be looking into is one wherein the researchers put overweight men of roughly the same age, body fatness, and muscularity consuming about the same amount of calories a day into two groups. One group received a blank pill, a placebo, that did not contain the active ingredient we're interested in, and the other group did receive the active ingredient, which is the supplement Forskolin. The researchers measured the participants weight and fat at the beginning of the study then again at the end of the 12 weeks during the 12 weeks of the study the participants consumed their respective supplement placebo or forskolin not knowing which one they had every day twice a day okay that's the build of the study pretty simple pretty standard but what did forskolin do to their body fat Interestingly, forskolin consumption did lead to body fat loss. Pretty sizable changes too. The average fat loss was 4.5 kilograms, with some people losing slightly more. Even more interesting, their body weight didn't change much, and their resting metabolic rate and their food consumption both did not change significantly. So how does forskolin create this effect? Well, this remains untested in the study, but based on other studies, as the researchers of this study mentioned, forskolin has a unique ability to stimulate fat loss in the cells, specifically the fat cells. Fat cells with fat molecules within them, known as triglycerides, activate an enzyme called hormone-sensitive lipase to break down fat and release it into the bloodstream to be used for energy by other cells, thereby reducing the fat molecule accumulation in the fat cells, thereby shrinking the fat cells and therefore increasing fat loss, potentially. This enzyme is activated when a molecule known as cyclic AMP is elevated, which binds a master protein called protein kinase A. When protein kinase A is active, it activates hormone-sensitive lipase in fat cells. How does all this relate to forskolin though, Nick? Well, forskolin has the ability to stimulate the protein that produces cyclic AMP directly. This protein is called adenylate cyclase. So, Forskolin interacts with adenylate cyclase, stimulating it to generate more cyclic AMP, therefore stimulating protein kinase A, and thereby stimulating the fat breakdown by lipase. However, there is something especially unique about forskolin. Normally, other metabolism of fat-stimulating supplements enact this effect by binding the cell receptor on the surface of the cell. This cell receptor then translates the signal from the outside of the cell into the cell, causing a stimulation of adenylate cyclase. However, the cell compensates by downregulating the signal by generating more receptors or less receptors or any other number of ways it reduces the signal over time, making other supplements that work through the receptor less and less effective over time. However, forskolin bypasses the receptor and stimulates adenylate cyclase independent of the cell receptor, making it a likely candidate for continued effectiveness at the same dose. Neat, isn't it? Okay, but what is that dose? Obviously, these aren't medical recommendations, but the researchers gave the participants of the study 250 milligrams of 10% forskolin extract to be taken twice a day. That is the dose used in the study and the dose deemed effective. If more or less would be equally or more effective is unknown. But as with anything, this is something you'd want to run by your doctor. So what can we take away from all this? First, forskolin at 250 milligrams of 10% forskolin extract twice a day is an effective supplement for fat loss. Second, that forskolin might operate in a unique way that bypasses the cell receptor, making it a potentially continuously effective supplement, unique from other supplements that may lose their effectiveness over time. And with that, my name is Nick. I hope this content proved informative and useful, and I certainly hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you on a physionic in the near future. Cheers.